My name is Chung Kai Hua. I'm the project manager of China Wei University of Little Bitao project. So far, the project is a success because considering the challenges faced during construction, it has been delivered within a reasonable amount of time and within the legal limits of the budget. The client is also satisfied with the project and he has managed to capture the design uh, objective of the architect. The groundbreaking ceremony was conducted on the 17th of May 2013 and was preceded over by the University Chancellor, Dr. Zhou Wanjui. The structure is founded on 100 reinforced concrete piles, 1,200 millimeters diameter in the tower central section up to level 22, 1,000 millimeters diameter in the podium outer sections up to level 7, and 30 meters deep on average. Piling of the foundation commenced on 17th June 2013 and was completed on the 21st of November 2013. Due to the presence of tall structures immediately adjacent to the structure, it was necessary to provide shoring for the foundation to prevent the sides of the excavation from collapsing. Work on shoring and bulk excavation was commenced on 21st November 2013 and was completed on the 5th of March 2014. Above the piles, seats are reinforced concrete craft foundation cup, 2 meters thick in the tower and 1.2 meters thick in the podium. Construction of the rough foundation commenced on the 22nd of January 2014 and was completed on the 18th of March 2014. The proposed University of Nairobi Tower is a 22-story building with a total floor area of 20,000 meters square. The project adopts an open-door policy and authorized guests are always welcome to the site to examine the progress of work, as well as appreciate the main contractor's China Wei revolutionary working method. I am uh, Waweru Gathecha from Waweru and Associates Architects. I was the project architect on uh, University of Nairobi Towers. This University of Nairobi Towers is a 22-story building, about 28,000 square meters. Um, comprises three principal areas, two basements, a podium of uh, six levels, and then the rest is um, a tower, which uh, I'm sure everybody in Nairobi has seen. Key functions of this building uh, are of course educational purpose. We hold over 3,500 student population, or well, the building will hold 3,500 students plus. Um, the entire university um, top administration will be housed in this building. The Senate will meet in this building. The um, University Council will meet in this building. Um, key features of the building Importantly, 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 it explores um, the cutting edge of technology in terms of uh, ecological design. The entire building is passively ventilated. Uh, we do not have any mechanical or air conditioning, apart from the server room and a few other small spaces. Um, all spaces receive cool air and uh, dissipate hot air using passive ventilation control systems. That's a key function of this building. You see it in the solar towers, in the solar chimneys, you see it in the lecture theaters, in the auditorium, pretty much everywhere in this building. Um, atop the building is um, a dominant feature on um, the skyline of Nairobi, a helipad. Um, one may ask why does the university choose to um, place a helipad on its building? Well, my straight answer to that is this is an ambitious university, they are world leaders, they will set the trends. The helipad is um, a feature of many modern buildings. Um, if you've been in Nairobi's traffic, if you've uh, been in any busy area, um, any high level CEO at the level that uh, visit the university will be able to catch a quick flight 
from wherever else in Nairobi, land here, do their business, and quickly get away. All the wastewater in this building is treated in a wastewater treatment plant, which we have in the basement. Um, we treat both grey and black water, and it is recycled via a dual plumbing system that we have in the building. So in terms of um, reuse, we are doing very well. We have uh, organic and inorganic waste separated in our refuse chutes. Uh, we have wastewater stored in a wastewater treatment. Uh, from the wastewater treatment plant, it goes to a treated water tank. We are collecting rainwater over 100,000 uh, liters. We are pretty much doing everything that an ecological building should do. We have solar water heating. Um, and generally, it is a building that is designed for um, extreme human comforts. My name is uh, Jared Odualo. I'm currently the resident architect at the University of Nairobi. I'm also the acting manager, construction and maintenance. Uh, I've been involved in the construction of the University of Nairobi Towers uh, in the last uh, three years. And um, China Wei, as the main contractor, I can say have performed well above our expectations. In terms of just work, uh, ethics and safety on site, uh, they have kept a clean record. We can confidently say that uh, this has been one of the safest uh, working areas for their workers and also for any visitors who have come. We have actually not had any major incidents uh, of uh, violation of safety. We have been proud to do this project um, alongside the university and the project main contractor China Wiyi. I think it is uh, clear to everybody that this has been an extremely ambitious project. Uh, well completed, within budget and well within time. <laughs>